I took this small room and I turned it into an amazing man cave. Here's how I did it. I only had a 10 by 10 area to work with, so I had to maximize the amount of space. What I did is I ended up ripping the 2x4s in half and used those as my wall studs. I ended up squeezing out a little bit more room by doing a built-in closet and built-in shelving. I also had to work around some ductwork and pipes in the ceiling, so I did a drop-down ceiling. Once I got the electrical done, then it was time to get the room insulated. Now that everything was set, it was time to start hanging the sheetrock. It was then time to do some taping and mudding. Then it was time to do some sanding. I hate sanding. I then started with a base layer of primer on my wall and ceiling. Now for the ceiling, I decided that I wanted to paint it black, and I wanted to do this so that I could control the lighting a little bit better in my room. I really wanted to go for a rustic feel in this room, so I ended up using tongue and groove pine on this one wall. Yeah, so one of the cool things about this LED light is that I can use this remote and change the color. So let's give it a try. Now that my walls were done, it was time to get everything trimmed out. I ended up ripping down some 2x4s so that I could glue them together and then I would be using that as my countertop for my workstation with my computer or any other projects that I needed to do. I sealed the countertop with a couple coats of clear polyurethane. I then sanded it down and used tack cloth to get the surface really smooth. At this point it was time to work on my closet doors. I ended up taking some sheets of plywood and ripping them to size and then trimming them out with some one-by material of pine. At this point I began to work on the cabinet doors for my built-in shelving. Unfortunately, I couldn't find my Craig screws, so I ended up having to improvise. All right, one frame done. I was gonna put soft close hinges on all of these doors, so I had to drill out the areas for the brackets to be inserted. And to complete those doors, I ended up just taking some of the plywood and ripping it to size and then screwing it onto the back of the frame. Take a look at that. I'm about to install the very last piece of shelving. Since I was aiming for a really rustic look, I ended up taking some pieces of wood that I had laying around on my property and used those to make door handles. The final step in this process was to then stain the floor and I got a little bit of help from my daughter, Madeline.
Good job. This room has become a place of refreshment for me. In the midst of a hectic lifestyle, I can have some space that's just for me, just to go and be alone and work on some projects and work on some videos, and I just absolutely love it. But something that makes this project even more special is that it was the final room for me to finish off in the house that I had built by my own hands. It's a very satisfying feeling seeing the fruit of your labor. We did it. I'm gonna follow this up with another video that's going to detail what I did in this room, specifically that made it work for such a small space. If you'd like to get your hands on some Stillwater apparel, be sure to check out the link that I have in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.